what is up i'm Warner turtle and today we have a psa returns video so this is a bunch of submissions uh, that are cards from myself as well as some of my patrons shout out to you guys and thanks for allowing me to help you out with the submission process and we're starting off with uh, i believe these are fun on a buns cards and he started off with some special delivery pikachus and i think we got three nines which is a little disappointing because i feel like they're all pretty good uh pretty good centering let's take a look at the back um yeah there must be i feel like the top bar slightly and i think maybe that's why i feel like i didn't see any whitening um but solid grades and you know if if these these reminder that these were kind of free <laughs> if you managed to uh get the put the orders in the pokemon center and uh so from that perspective yeah i think it's like a hundred dollar card but if you did get the 10 it was a pretty the 10s are hard to get i think i only have like one uh, but then I think that's going for like 500 and we have a very solid Rillaboom V did get the 10 so good call on sending that one in next we're going with EMC uh, old friend of the channel so submitted a bunch of very vintage cards uh, pretty rough condition uh, starting off with a Dragonite Unlimited from Fossil only getting the four uh, definitely a lot of wear on the back maybe there's some like creasing because uh, I mean there's definitely edge wear it's not terrible the front looks good uh to be honest like if if there was like a binder collection you're looking to complete for the full set but the front looks beautiful <laughs> obviously somewhere on the back then moving on to jungle solid grade here we got a seven for the unlimited snorlax and we did submit uh i think all the base starters not sure if it was all base so it's, obviously this one's base two with the five and we definitely see significant edge wear uh, so it seems about right. And we did submit a modern card. The Shiny Charizard from Champion's Path. This one did snag the 10. So congrats on that card. And back to base. Actually some, not only the starters, but the evolution. This one, Shadowless, is pretty cool. Charmeleon coming in at 6. And then back to Venusaur. So we do have a base Venusaur also at a 5. And we got the Blastoise. The Charmander, at least the it's cool that the evolution is shadowless. And then just a three on the Stoice. Take a quick look. Uh, yeah, obviously this is like super damage, and I don't really know the difference between like fours, fives, and sixes. But that three is a little pretty rough. And we do have a Charizard. I do, I do feel like unless you have like a bunch of them already, grading any Charizard's probably worth it. You know. Uh, just to get it in the slab. I think it's a cool accomplishment for any collection uh, So, you know, not the best grades but solid stuff EMC and especially if you're just looking to slab up your vintage collection I think that's definitely the way to go All right, moving on to Tony a relatively new patron and we did submit some so this is Dragon Ball Super I don't know too much about this game uh, But I do I love the show. I don't follow it, but it was just something from my childhood and I like the way he goes about his collection. He's clearly a Vegeta fan and just gonna pick the cool Vegeta cards and submit them for grading. They're like, don't necessarily need to be max rarity, but just, you know, max sentimental value. So here we have the Majin Vegeta, you can see with the M, and this did pull the 10, Gemin 10, very cool. And um, yeah, even though I, I don't know, I think, I'm pretty sure this isn't like max rarity, but even, you know, the non-max rarity cards, these things just really looks really cool. This is best, Festa Fest, so some kind of promo. Um, and all the Dragon Ball Super cards are just like, they're all like just so uh, blinged out. I'm not sure if that's the correct term. We got another 10. This is the Super Saiyan God variant Vegeta, uh, which then at some point he turned into blue as well. Uh, this one did only get the nine, uh, but again, just to have all the different forms of Vegeta from. Dragon Ball Super, I think it's just a very cool way to go about the collection. So um, I, I really like your picks and, you know, I think it's more the approach of collect stuff that you enjoy. It's like, oh, is it going to be worth a ton? Maybe not, but um, it's just what what you get out of it, I think is more important. All right, moving on to Richard Omega, submitted a bunch of cards from some of our breaks. I think most of these are Crown Zenith cards and we're starting off with the biggest one that is the Dialga. So this is when he pulled in a break and boom, we did get the 10. Uh, I actually didn't look up what this one's going for, but um, you know, I think these 
I call them like the cave cards or the gold, whatever you want to call them. Uh, definitely were some of the more sought after ones. It's interesting, like sometimes when the Pokemon, like it's, it doesn't take up much space in the picture, but especially when it completes a full picture, it's very cool. And uh, yeah, congratulations. I feel like this was definitely strong, but that top order did concern me. Uh, so very happy with that grade. I'm, that's interesting, right? The top order is pretty thick and we did get the 10. Congratulations, Richard Omega. Also submitted a Samurots in the break. He pulled two of these and we submitted the better looking of the two. Um, <laughs> this one's a little stronger than the Dialga. This one got denied. Uh, then we're moving on to the full art supporter. We pulled the Roxanne. Can't remember if we pulled two of her as well, but uh, only the nine. And I think we're moving on to my cards at this point. So this is a card I've been trying to get a 10 for a long time. Might just not be not meant to be i'm not going to crack open any more of these boxes to try this was back when they really had the prongs of death and it's just really difficult to get a 10. it is the charizard premium collection uh they kind of had like this in the um the pre pre marina boxes i think i've submitted all the ones i have uh let's just take a quick look because i feel like this one was pretty good but i was very optimistic uh so i'm going to start off. actually i think this this border is definitely thinner some nine program. I'm gonna start kind of like a stack of PSA slabs that all right look I think these can pull a better grade so consider cracking them and resubmitting them and we got moving over to the Japan post boxes got the 10 um, I think these were not super hard to grade so but nice to always add more tens but let's see if we can see this one is not a 10 spoilers and um, I don't know why this thing pulled a six. Oh my gosh, it's so rough. Um, so obviously, like when things aren't that hard to grade and you pull a six, you know, this thing's nothing. Maybe it's a good thing for a binder. Uh, I'll take another look, but I feel like this one goes into that pile of it's worth taking, going, looking over this card with a fine comb and seeing, all right, do I resubmit this? Moving on to a very vintage card with a less than stellar grade i feel like the back looks solid um we do see some some edge wear but honestly it doesn't look too bad and it is a first edition planes charizard so pretty high stakes here Ooh, six um i'm sure like vintage cards i don't know i just don't have the eye to just like guess the grade um but i'm sure there's a good amount of wear and six is rough. I feel like this looked like a seven, so maybe this would go into that pile. That didn't look pretty close though. I really like this card. Uh, the crystals, I don't have all of them. I think Golem was one of the more low hanging fruit, and I do like the card. I don't know, something about the art, I just think is really cool. And this is the reverse, only got a, a six again. Uh, but you know, definitely some edge wear on the back. Unlikely I would resubmit that. Okay, moving on to some modern stuff. Oh, I think this was for my cards very disappointing submission uh, I feel like sometimes you get a lenient grader sometimes they're pretty tough so this one only got an eight I think most of these evolutions from uh, evolving skies are just picked up on TCG player and so like when you buy it on TCG player they're claimed as near mint and you get near mint so it's kind of hard to complain obviously the centering isn't perfect here I was hoping for a nine to be honest which is Kind of like the story of this Leafeon. Very, uh, really like this card. I think I, I really like the VMAX one where he's like basically helping the farmer. Uh, this one pulled the nine. And um, yeah, I feel like you can't really complain uh, if you're like a selling cards on TCG player and they don't send you the well centered ones. You know, you're buying your mint, you get your mint. So you can't complain. All right, but here we have um, right when 2018 picked up a bunch of these. I'm really happy I did. Uh, so like historically these have been easy to grade. Maybe I just ran out of the easy tens uh, I feel like from the front the left border does is significantly thinner than the right So maybe this is appropriate. Uh, we did only get the nine the nine to be honest the value is still Surprisingly good like I feel like Japanese versions are doing better than the English which is a little confusing to be honest uh, So I'm still happy with this probably won't submit it, but you know I see any Japanese modern card as shouldn't be too hard to get a 10 we got another one and i think it's it's going to be a similar deal although this one's pretty close like the left and right borders look similar top and right not too bad so maybe this one goes into that pile of yeah consider re-cracking this open send it again and yet another nine 
so pretty disappointed but oh this is gonna be the most disappointing thing and um so this was uh my girlfriend pulled this and i went like crazy and we we're looking through it and i think if, i'm not sure if this is on the card or not but you can kind of see a very faint dot right there and we think that's what did it i don't know how to tell if that's on the case or on the card right now we're assuming card i don't think we'll crack this open but we'll continue to look let me know what you think is that on the card because it is the moon brand we pulled it ourselves oh we got the nine i thought this looked so good and um i don't know if, if people like i just want one in the collection uh, i'll settle for a nine but if it has a ch chance at a 10 we would definitely resubmit it but like it like doubles in price obviously the card that everyone's looking for and oh that was very disappointing let me know is this dot see it right right there is that on the case or on the card Whew. all right moving on to some more evolutions this is the promo espion deoxys i have high, i still have a bunch of these boxes sealed high hopes like absolute home run of a promo it's a tag team it's alt art they have evolutions yeah the the deoxys and dark rider not the coolest thing but they're like legendary so a lot going for these these cards and yeah you know i regular i think the regular price was like 60 bucks or something what a what a good what a good uh good product all right moving on to some more tag teams latios latias uh, i think i pulled this back when um team up and uh, i think the centering isn't great so not too surprising that i didn't get a 10 would have preferred a nine obviously uh but i never pulled that alt art and you know obviously everyone's like t team up was <laughs> so expensive right now uh so i'll probably I don't think I have many alt art still to grade. I'll take another peek. I'm curious how this card will do. This was just like a product that this was a very meme VMAX Pokemon. Um, the product I feel like wasn't hard to find. It was only $20 came with the V and the VMAX. Um, but I feel like, you know, it was the first Sword and Shield. It was the only printing of Meow. So I'm curious how this will do long term. Optimistic. And last but not least, we have one more tag team, the full art version of Zorark. And we did pull the 10. So very happy with that. So uh, congrats on everyone who got their grades back. Um, yeah, I feel like a little disappointing on, on my cards, uh, but maybe maybe they're all appropriate. Let me know, let me know what your thoughts about that, Umbreon. I'm just, if, if, if I can be convinced that, dude, that's not the case. It's not on the card. That thing's definitely going back. Um, but yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Warner Turtle, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.